Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you exactly everything I did to get pregnant really, really quick. I recently posted a picture on my Instagram, and if you don't follow me, I will leave my Instagram name down below, but it kind of just went into depth, just a little bit of my struggle with getting pregnant with my baby girl, Blake, who is now six months old, and I had a ton of people reach out and ask what I did, you know, how I got pregnant, if it was quick for us, and luckily it was. Um, before getting pregnant, I did struggle with endometriosis I had cysts very frequently irregular periods and I was on birth control for seven years so I had all of that kind of going against me and I was still able to get pregnant within one to two tries the first time I don't know if we really had my ovulation down correctly but um, yeah either way it was two tries we are very blessed and very thankful I don't know if it'll happen this easy for us next time I mean fingers crossed I hope it does but um, before I jump into this video I do want to say like if you are struggling with infertility and conceiving and pregnancy and miscarriage or anything like that my heart truly goes out for you um, I was told in January lot before I got pregnant that it would be very hard for my husband and I to conceive and it was the most devastating news I can still remember exactly how it felt and it's just terrible to be told that or to be trying. I can't imagine for so long. So before we jump in, I just wanted to say that my heart goes out to you. And of course, you could have tried these things and you know, you're still struggling. And for that, I am really sorry. But for me, these things really worked. And I did just kind of want to put these out there to maybe help others who these could work with and help you get pregnant really quick. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just jump right into what I did to have a baby and get pregnant really, really fast. What are you doing? I have my little girl hanging out here. So, what are you doing? You're so naughty. You're so cute. So, if you hear anything, that is just her. And then I also might glance down every so often because I wrote everything down in like a little note and I kept track of how I got pregnant. So, I have like a whole documentation going that I want to share with you guys. So um, another thing I wanna say before we jump in, I'm so sorry for the long intro, but I am obviously not a doctor. Consult with your physician first. For me, I did, and then we went ahead and took these steps, and it worked for me. So yeah, I did wanna say that. I wanna go ahead and jump out there. Consult with your doctor first before trying these things or, you know, yeah, before trying to get pregnant. Okay, so the first thing I did, and I think it was the most crucial part, at least physically, like for my body, and that was to follow an anti-inflammatory diet. So, um, yeah, baby. What it is, if you're unfamiliar, is it's eliminating everything that is processed. So anything that comes in boxes, bagged, like pre-packaged things, you eliminate everything um, from your diet that could affect your body negatively. So with like the hormones and foods nowadays, and this is just like a summary, um, feel free to look it up to get more depth because I don't remember every little detail anymore because it was a year ago. But um, from what my doctor and I kind of went over and like what I researched on my own, you just want to eliminate all of like the hormones and added things in our food nowadays because it can affect, especially a woman, it can affect our hormone levels tremendously, which then, you know, goes hand in hand with not being able to get pregnant. So um, towards the end of April, beginning of May, oh, and I did get pregnant in June. So it's so like a month and a half, two months before, I went ahead and followed the anti-inflammatory diet. So again, I cut out anything processed, anything with hormones. It was very expensive, I will say that, but I think it really, really worked. I felt better mentally, physically, and I did get pregnant. So, and again, like I said in the intro, I do have endometriosis. Well, I did, I don't know how that works after having a baby. I haven't even got my period back yet, so I'm interested to see how that is. But, so I had like a lot of scar tissue and with the anti-inflammatory diet, it's supposed to calm the inflammation and it's just good for you in general if you have any type of issue like that. So what I did was like for breakfast, I would have acai bowls, which is a natural antioxidant. I had like a full list of just like fruits and vegetables and things that worked really well for anti-inflammatory properties. Again, antioxidants, we're loaded in vitamins, just anything that is really good, like superfood for your body, that's what I ate and that was, it, I was very, very, very strict on it. Um, again, I was told in January that it would be very hard for my husband and I to conceive, so the thought of that I think really, really pushed me and motivated me. Um, so yeah, back to breakfast, I would have like an acai bowl with tons of 
Uh, nuts, nuts are really, really good. It's a great fat, it's good for your body. They do have to be like organic and no salt and nothing added to it, but um, nuts, seeds, the acai, and just like tons, I would load it with superfoods and then I would drink that. And then throughout the day, I was strictly on like fruits, vegetables, and organic hormone-free meat. That is probably the biggest thing is if, like if you're not gonna be able to have organic fruits and vegetables, that's one thing, like the pesticides are not good for the anti-inflammatory diet and for your body in general, but they are really, really strict on the meats. The meats cannot contain hormones and they need to be high quality organic meats because again, those hormones counteract with your body and cause um, issues with your hormone levels and throw things out of whack. So. That's kind of like the gist of it. I will leave down below like some of my favorite um, websites and clinical studies and things like that that really break down the anti-inflammatory diet. But for me, it worked wonders and I felt great on it and I really believe it helped me conceive. So that's the first thing I did. Okay, tip number two to get pregnant fast. It's actually kind of like two and three. They go hand in hand. That is to check your ovulation and to um, write everything down. Like have an app that you write down all your symptoms, your ovulation days, like everything in the app. For me, <laughs> you want potty? Yeah, okay, I won't look at you. Um, okay, so for me, what I did was like January through April, yeah, April I started checking my ovulation. I kind of just inputted all my symptoms, how I was feeling into this app, and it curates when it thinks you're ovulating. But like I said, again, in the intro, I have struggled with irregular periods for as long as I can remember. Um, I was on birth control for seven years, so during that time, it was pretty consistent, but again, that's putting a hormone in your body, which like is terrible for your body in my opinion like now that I have Blake I didn't go back on because it threw things way out of whack for me but um, once I got off my period went right back to being irregular so I didn't really know when I was ovulating but I was inputting all that then in April I started taking actual ovulation tests which I just bought a big pack on Amazon what are you doing my baby <laughs> um I just bought a big pack on Amazon because it's way cheaper than getting them at the store and I would pee on them every afternoon, which it is different than a pregnancy test. A pregnancy test, you wanna take first thing in the morning, ovulation, you wanna take around five o'clock in the evening. I don't know why, I think it has to do with your hormone levels, one peaks at certain times and all of that, but so, <laughs> that is her laugh by the way. <laughs> you are so silly. But um, so I started taking ovulation tests and I learned really quick that I was ovulating much different than the app originally told me I was. Again, the app kind of just had to go off of irregular periods, so it wasn't that accurate at the time. But once I started inputting when I was ovulating in May and June, I knew they correlated and told me both the exact days, like the strip came back positive um, that I was ovulating and the app told me that week span was when I'd be ovulating. So that is huge because if you're having sex or trying to get pregnant at the wrong time of the month, obviously there's nothing to conceive with. Um, so you definitely need to know when you're ovulating. That is really, really big, especially if you have irregular periods. Like, like I said, you can get a cheat pack on Amazon and then find out exactly when you're ovulating so you know when to have sex and when it'll be the best time to try and conceive. Okay, so tip three and four are kind of out there. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I did these in June when I got pregnant. I did not do these in May and I obviously didn't conceive. So what I did was after my husband and I, you know, did it or whatever, I waited five minutes before going to the bathroom. I don't know what it is. I just like heard that randomly one time and decided to try it and I conceived. So I don't know if it like sits in there and absorbs. Again, I'm not a doctor. Probably should know this because I'm going to be a labor and delivery nurse. I'm in nursing school, but um, yeah, I, I didn't go to the bathroom for five minutes. So I just kind of laid on the bed with my legs up to, <laughs> I don't know if it's like a myth or what, but I swear it works. So I sat there with my legs up for five minutes and I conceived. So that is like my weird tip that I did to get pregnant fast. The last thing that I did was it was all mental and it was how I changed my outlook on getting pregnant. 
as much as I think you have to be physically ready to get pregnant and healthy, and like I said, the anti-inflammatory diet I think did wonders for me. I think you mentally have to be at a place to get pregnant as well. And when you put so much pressure on yourself, I just feel like it doesn't happen. Like you hear about all these couples that stress, 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 and it doesn't happen. And then they decide to like adopt a baby, which is great, but then they end up getting pregnant. <laughs> because they're no longer worrying about getting pregnant. So that is what I did in June. I kind of told myself this is like an experiment. I know that sounds weird and it sounds out there, but this is the truth. This is exactly what I did. I wanna be very transparent with you to try and help you get pregnant if you're going through this. And I told myself, I'm just gonna try and see if this diet thing works. Like I totally treated it like an experiment. I did not tell myself like, oh, we have to get pregnant this month or, um, you know, just worry about the actual like, pregnancy I just truly just kind of treated it like a trial and error type thing like oh you know I tried this for a month let's see what happens if things don't work I'll tweak it next month I just totally changed my mental state um that and I drank wine the week I was ovulating bless you bless you mama now I'm not saying to go out and like get hammered or encourage drinking that's not what I'm trying to do here but wine for me like a glass of wine I don't drink often so like one glass really will relax me and I did that and it also helped me kind of just treat it like yeah like what it is not so much like the pressure of just doing it to get pregnant um so yeah I drank wine I changed my mental state I just kind of was like I'm gonna take it for what it is if it works it works if not that's fine we'll move on to something else next month try something a little different um and i kept my legs up and held it in for five minutes so that's like the last little bunch of things i did differently the month that i conceived um i really hope that this video helped you if it did it would mean the world to me if you could like this video and just comment down below um if it helped you or if you tried these things and you happen to get pregnant and if you know anybody going through the struggle of getting pregnant maybe show them this video or share it with them and just see if maybe they could take anything from it to help their fertility and conceiving journey that would mean the world to me that's why i'm putting this video out there just to help anybody like if i could just help one person that would be enough so yeah thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos and if you have any questions please leave them down below in the comments i would love to answer them for you and help you out any way i can but yeah i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye